Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of representing numeric data. This is standard 6.12a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 27 of the 2018 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a box plot and it's a good way to show data sets. And so we have these 12 plants or these 12 numbers up at the very top. And we need to know which of these is best represented by uh, the box plot below A, B, C, or D. And so here's the thing with box plots. Box plots works really heavily in quartiles. So what we wanna do is we wanna split up our data First, we're going to go ahead and split it in half. So they've step one is to put your data in order. They've already provided that for you. If you ever get a data that's not necessarily in numeric order, you are going to have to rewrite it from smallest to largest. But this data is in order. So let's take a look. We've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, so we've got 12 numbers, and we're going to split it in half. If you have an odd number, then you're just going to circle the one that's in the middle, um, and that will kind of, you have your halves on either side. But in this case, we actually have half. It's going to be right here. So I'm going to put two little boxes here, and that's going to let me know I've got six numbers on the left, six numbers on the right. So my median, let me write that right here, my median is going to be right here in the middle. Now, let's take a look. The number directly to the left is 8, and the number directly to the right is 9. If those happen to be the same numbers, then that's simple. Then it would be just whatever those two numbers are. But since those are different numbers, we need to find the number that's exactly between this 8 and this 9. In between 8 and 9, it's going to be 8.5. So sometimes you're going to have to represent numbers that aren't even in the data set, depending on if that falls right where a quarter ends. So our median is actually going to be our quarter two. That's going to be our second quartile. It's going to be right in the middle of where we want. So we're going to put 8.5. So that's going to be an important number for us. Next, we need to find the first and the third quartile. But what we do is we take our two halves, and we break each of those halves in half. So we've got six on each side. So we're just going to draw a little line between the third and the fourth, and between the, the ninth and tenth there. And so now we've got four quarters, and each quarter is equal. It has three numbers, and so we can get our quartiles. But just like we did for this median, which is our second quartile, we're going to need to find that number that falls right in between seven and eight. And so this is going to be our Q1. And if, once again, if both of these numbers happen to be the same, then, then that Q1 number would just be that number. But it's between 7 and 8, and so that's going to be 7.5. And then we're going to do the same thing over here. This is going to be our Q3. And you get how this works now. It's 10 and 11, so we're going to call that 10 point five and then the final thing to know is that our two extremes are going to be represented by the the first and the last number so the first number is six that's going to be our first extreme and our last number is going to be 14. so let's take a look at our options here first let's see do we at least have six and 14 on all of our options so we've got six and 14 that's good we've got six and 14 that's good 6 and 14, 6 and 14. So at least we get the range, the spread here. So let's take a look at our first quartile there, 7.5. So that's going to be this left side of this box. So that's 7.5. That looks good. B, look at this. Let's put this first quartile on 8. So that's going to be incorrect. 7.5, that's good. And D, look at they put that on 8. That is incorrect. Let's look at 8.5 here, and look, this one is correct, this one is incorrect, so our answer is C.